잠시 후 2023학년도 7월 고3 전국연합학력평가 3교시 영어 영역 듣기평가 방송을 시작하겠습니다. 1번 다음을 듣고 남자가 하는 말의 목적으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hello, residents. This is an announcement from the maintenance office. Last week, we conducted a safety inspection of the apartments and found some inappropriate uses of the balconies. Please be aware of the rules for using balconies as follows. First, balconies should not be used for the storage of goods, such as barbecue fuel materials, which can cause a fire. Second, lightweight outdoor furniture should be removed when winds are strong because the objects can be blown off of the balcony. Lastly, please avoid watering plants too much to prevent flooding. Thank you for your cooperation for your safe and pleasant residence. 2번. 대화를 듣고 여자의 의견으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Grace, I'm thinking about learning Korean, but I don't know where to start. Why do you want to learn it? I'm interested in Korean culture, so I'm curious about the language. Well, if you've decided to learn a foreign language, you need to set a specific goal. A specific goal? What's that? It's something that you hope to achieve by learning a foreign language. For example, watching dramas without subtitles. That sounds interesting. The more detailed your goal, the better you can choose your learning methods. I see. Now I have a better idea of what I have to do. Yeah. Also, a specific goal will keep you motivated and focused. All right. I'll clarify what I want to achieve. Good luck. 3번. 대화를 듣고 두 사람의 관계를 가장 잘 나타낸 것을 고르시오. Ms. Evans, hi, how are you? I'm good, Mr. Johnson. Actually, our shelter's dog calendar sold really well. The photos you took for it were great. Thanks. I hope it helped your shelter and the care of abandoned dogs. It definitely did. Thanks to the calendar, we had more visitors interested in adopting a dog. I'm glad to hear that. So we've decided to make a calendar for next year, too. Would you take pictures for us again? I'd love to. I'm happy to help those homeless dogs to find a home. Thanks so much. When do you think you'll be available? I'm taking pictures for another client this week. I'll be available right after it's done. Great. So is there something we should prepare differently this time? Could you just get the dogs bathed, like last year? Sure. I'll wash and brush them. Perfect. I'll visit your shelter soon to get ready. Great. Thanks. I look forward to more of your amazing pictures. 4번. 대화를 듣고 그림에서 대화의 내용과 일치하지 않는 것을 고르시오. Honey, look at this. I found one of our baby shower photos. Oh, it's been a long time since I saw this. It was just a month before Amy was born. You remember the heart balloon under the banner? You really struggled to blow it up. Right. I was so dizzy after doing it. I loved those three notes on the message board, but your note was the sweetest. Thank you, dear. Oh, is that Kiki the rabbit on the sofa? Yes. It's amazing that Rabbit Doll has been Amy's best friend for years. But most of all, you were so beautiful in your striped dress. That dress was one of my favorites. I was grateful that I received so many presents that day. I was happy too. Just look at the gift boxes beside you.
It was really a great celebration for our whole family. Oban. Tewari de go. Namjaga halilo kajang chokjoran go s i k o r u s h i o Ms. Valentine, is everything ready for the students from Thailand to visit? Almost. Our students are all excited about our first international visitors. Are you picking them up at the airport? Shall I go with you? Thanks, but I'll greet them with Mr. Howard. All right. What time will you get back? Probably at about one o'clock. We're all having lunch together in the school cafeteria. That'll be lovely. Who will guide the Thai students on the campus tours? Some students already volunteered for that. I have a list of their names. Good. Would it be helpful if the guides wear name tags? That's a great idea. But I'm leaving soon, so could you make the tags? Absolutely. And how about taking photos of the campus tours? I already asked some students from the photography club to do that. Perfect. I can't wait to meet our international guests. 6번대화를듣고여자가지브라의금액을고르시오 Ms. Anderson, for our staff meeting today, how about we order some sandwiches? Good idea. I'll order them from Jolly Sandwiches right now. We can use a delivery app. Sounds good. How about tuna sandwiches or chicken sandwiches? How much are they? Tuna sandwiches are $8 each and chicken sandwiches are $6 each. Let's have just tuna sandwiches. Okay, I'll add 10 of them to our order. We also need beverages. Sure. I think bottled water would be good for everyone. They're $1 each. I'll add 10 bottles. Please check if they have a delivery fee. It says it's $5. Oh, We can use a 10% off coupon for our order, but not for the delivery fee. All right. So the discount is only for the food and drinks. Correct. I'll place the order and pay. 7번대화를듣고남자가스쿨버스를놓친이유를고르시오 Hi, Steve. I didn't see you on the school bus today. Yes, I missed it. I saw you running in the park early this morning, so you didn't wake up late. Not at all. I'm working out to improve my health after I caught a cold. But you're still coughing. Did you see a doctor this morning? Not yet. Then why did you miss the bus? Actually, I left home as usual, but my apartment elevator was out of order. Wait, don't you live on a pretty high floor? Yeah, I ran down the stairs as quickly as I could, but the bus drove away right before my eyes. I'm sorry that you had a tough morning. How did you get to school? The subway. Fortunately, it was quite empty. So I could read the presentation material for history class. 8번대화를듣고 Translators for 오래관에언급되지않은것을고르시오 David, what are you doing on your smartphone? I'm researching internship programs to join. This one looks quite interesting. What is it? It's called Translators for All. The interns participate in various language service projects. That is pretty cool. Could I apply too? Definitely. It says here they want college students majoring in languages. Sounds like a good fit for both of us. Absolutely. And what I like most about it is we can work from home. That's fantastic. But how much does the job pay? 
Usually $500 a month. Wow. Okay, so how do I apply? We just have to fill out this online application form. I'll get my smartphone and apply as well. It'll be a great experience. Coupon. Firefly Work에 관한 다음 내용을 듣고 일치하지 않는 것을 고르시오. Hello, listeners. Lakeside Park invites you to the Firefly Walk this summer. You'll see the magical world of fireflies on a two-hour walk guided by insect experts. This event will be held from August 19th to 27th, open to a maximum of 12 participants per day. To join this event, you should make reservations in advance on our website. We're happy to offer this wonderful experience at no cost to participants. However, we operate the Firefly Walk based only on donations, so we would greatly appreciate your generous contributions. We'll hold the event even if it rains because it does not affect the Firefly viewing. So join us for this unforgettable adventure at Lakeside Park. 10번. 다음 표를 보면서 대화를 듣고 두 사람이 주문할 베개를 고르시오. Honey, it looks like our pillows are pretty old. Why don't we buy new ones online? All right. I found the top five pillow recommendations on the online store. Great. Let's see. I don't think I want to pay more than $100 for just one pillow. I agree. So how thick would you like the pillows? I guess four inches would be too thin for our necks, right? Probably. Something thicker than that would be better. Now, let's choose a filling material. We've always used goose down. But how about picking another material instead of goose down this time? Good point. Shall we get washable pillows again? Yes, but this time I want to get ones with a machine wash option. Definitely. Let's order them now. 11번 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Andy, your exhibition is coming up soon. Are the preparations going well? Yeah, almost done. I finally finished my last painting for the exhibition yesterday. Great. I can't wait to see your work. What do you have to do next for the exhibition? 12번 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hi. I'd like to cancel the trip package I booked. Here's my reservation number. Sure. I'm sorry, but we cannot give you a refund because you bought the special discounted package. Oh, in that case, I wonder if I can change the dates of the trip. 13번. 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Thanks for today's tennis lesson, Ms. Rossini. Oh, Mr. Chen, you did great with your backhand stroke today. It's all thanks to you. I couldn't even hit the ball at first. Just remember to increase your power and stability when you strike. I try to, but it's not easy. Really? Can I see your racket? Sure. Here it is. The head size is good for you, but this is too light. Well, it's what my older sister used. Light rackets make it challenging to put force on the ball when striking. 
I think an around 300 gram racket is fit for you. Oh, so a heavier racket makes it easier for me to control the ball? That's right. Choosing the right racket for you is essential. Jason, do you know any good Indian restaurants that deliver? Oh, I don't use food delivery, so I'm not sure. Really? I can get food delivered right to my front door with my smartphone. Sure, it's convenient. But delivery food makes a lot of waste from all its packaging. Well, unless we cook at home all the time, delivery is easier. Have you thought about how many plastic containers are used in just one order? Oh, that's true. I always put them in the recycling after, though. That's not always enough. When I don't cook, I go to the restaurant and get the food served in my own personal container. I've never thought about that. What a responsible way to reduce plastic use. People need to be aware of what the consequences of their actions will be in the future. 15번. 다음 상황 설명을 듣고, 니키가 크리스에게 할 말로, Chris is the passionate leader of an electronic music band at his university. His band is pretty good, close to professional level when it comes to electronic music. Then one day, another band on his campus, which plays classical music, offers his band the chance to perform together at the upcoming campus festival. Chris hesitates to respond because classical music feels quite unfamiliar to him. But Nikki, another member of his band, thinks if they work with the musicians of the seemingly distant genre, they'd be able to present a different side of their music. So, Nikki wants to suggest to Chris that their team take the offer to collaborate in an attempt to play music they've never done before. In this situation, what would Nikki most likely say to Chris? 16번부터 17번까지는 두번 들려줍니다. 16번과 17번, 다음을 듣고 물음에 답하시오. Hello, students. Have you ever heard a market analyst? or an investment banker use animal references? It's because such expressions give you some insight into the financial industry. I'll introduce some examples of what animals represent in the market. Let's start with bulls. You've probably seen them raising their horns when they attack. So a bull market represents a period when prices are generally rising. The next one is sheep. As they move in a herd, the sheep flock effect means a bias that influences the decisions of investors, often causing irrational reactions. Pigs are also fairly common in finance speak. They are used to define investors who are greedy and take high risks in anticipation of making huge profits. Finally, Chicken indicates investors who are reluctant to take risks and prefer a safer approach. From these few examples, you can get an idea of the variety of financial vocabulary. Why don't you look for other examples and find your favorite one? Hello, students. Have you ever heard a market analyst or an investment banker use animal references? It's because such expressions give you some insight into the financial industry. I'll introduce some examples of what animals represent in the market. Let's start with bulls. 
You've probably seen them raising their horns when they attack. So a bull market represents a period when prices are generally rising. The next one is sheep. As they move in a herd, the sheep flock effect means a bias that influences the decisions of investors, often causing irrational reactions. Pigs are also fairly common in finance speak. They are used to define investors who are greedy and take high risks in anticipation of making huge profits. Finally, chicken indicates investors who are reluctant to take risks and prefer a safer approach. From these few examples, you can get an idea of the variety of financial vocabulary. Why don't you look for other examples and find your favorite one? 16번. 남자가 하는 말의 주제로 가장 적절한 것은?